Bubbles, why are you looking at the board like that? I can't see it clearly. Everything is blurred. Well, that's not good. You might have an eyesight problem. You'll need to see an eye doctor. But why is my vision blurred? What's wrong with my eyes? To understand why this happens, we must first understand the structure of the eye and how we see things. The eye is an organ of sight. The eyelids and the eyelashes protect the eye from dust. Let's take a closer look at the eye's structure. The outermost layer forms the white part of the eye, called the sclera. The transparent front part of sclera is called the cornea. The cornea is like the window that lets light into the eye. As we go deeper, the next layer is called the choroid layer, which supplies blood to all parts of the eye. It extends to the colored part in front of the eye. Do you know what this part is called? I think it's called the pupil, right? Actually, the colored part of your eye is called the iris. The opening at the center of the iris is called the pupil. When the light is dim, the iris contracts and the pupil becomes larger so that more light can enter the eye. And when the light is bright, the iris expands and makes the pupil smaller so that less light can enter the eye. So the iris controls the amount of light entering the eye? Exactly! There is a convex lens in the eye located behind the iris. This lens focuses the light rays that bounce off an object onto the back of the eye. In a camera, the lens moves back and forth to focus. But what about the lens in our eyes? Does it move too? That is a great comparison. Our eyes also focus on objects that are near and far, but they do so by changing the shape of the lens, not moving it. In our eye, the lens is held in place by ciliary muscles. These muscles contract or expand to change the shape of the lens. This allows images to form at the back of the eye. The innermost layer at the back, inside of the eyeball, is known as the retina. Light rays converge on the retina to form images that our brain can understand. The retina is made up of millions of cells that are sensitive to light. The human retina has around 6 million cone cells. These cells allow us to see colors. The retina also has around 120 million rod cells. These cells allow us to see in dim light. This is rod vision. And this is cone vision. Whoa! So how do these different parts work together to allow us to see? The light coming from an object enters the eye through the iris and is focused by the lens, forming a real and inverted image on the retina. That can't be right! I see everything upright, not upside down. This is because the optic nerve carries these real and inverted images in the form of signals to the brain. And the brain flips them back and interprets them correctly. Bubbles, I didn't recognize you there. Are those new glasses? Yes, the doctor gave me these for my eyesight. Now I can see everything clearly. That's wonderful. By the way, glasses suit you. Today we learned that the eye has three layers. The outermost layer is the sclera and cornea. The middle layer is the choroid, which extends to the iris and ciliary muscles at the front of the eye. The innermost layer is the retina, which is connected to the optic nerve.
Light bounces off an object, enters the eye through the pupil. The lens focuses the light, forming a real and inverted image on the retina. The optic nerve then carries the image in the form of signals to the brain, which flips the image back, allowing us to see the object. 